Hey guys, my name is America. I'm one of the Cyber Twins. You've probably seen us at one of the EOS hackathons either in London or in San Francisco. And I'm really excited to do a quick run through of the EOS Studio ID. It's something the community has been waiting for. Uh, given the experience of onboarding developers the uh, last couple of months, it's definitely a game changer. And yeah, uh, we also written a medium article to guide people uh depending what they're trying to do but i yeah so i made this video to help you guys along so let's get started so what's really cool is the eos studio id uh currently works right now for mac uh, but linux and windows will be available sometimes next month and it's not just an ide it's just it has the you're able to generate contracts on it. You're able to make a account. You have different, uh, you can also download different versions of EOS IO so you can switch between. And yeah, it says right there. Um, just a kind reminder, it doesn't use Solidity, you just want some, uh, you know. But yeah, uh, when you have a chance, you know, read this. Uh, but I'm gonna get started. So it's very important that you have Docker and you sign up for Docker to be able to use this tool. Otherwise you're gonna run into errors. And there's no need to download any uh, EOS binaries to uh, use this tool at the moment. Um, it's using Docker. So let's get started. So you're able to download EOS Studio um, from the Telegram group of EOS Studio, so make sure you hop on that channel when you have a chance. So let's get started. So right here it says, welcome to EOS Studio, where you can switch and all. Uh, now we want to create a new project. We don't have made a project yet. So new project, a new project. Uh, let's create a new path. And yeah, let's make a new folder. Um, hello, world. Create it. And ta da. So, made a folder called contracts and made a folder called hello world so I can save the contracts in there. I want to, let's see, what's a good okay, name? Uh, well, it's gonna be the year of the pick. So I'm going to Use the Kylan Testnet, create an account. Uh, again, I'm gonna call it Sweet, available. Next, I'm gonna click on the account. Make sure that I have some tokens and RAM, otherwise, my. Let's see what we got. Just give me an assertion layer. What might be the issue? Well, that worked. Turn by some RAM. Okay, cool. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, you want to add the contract to the name of your account. So it's also in here. Oh, the pig. So nice. No, 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 no. I'm speaking low because it's really, really early in the morning. I don't want to wake up my roommates. Yes, so I'm going to click on the contract and you're going to see no contract has been deployed. So a very common question I've been receiving from the community is, can you create a contract or do you need to deploy a contract on the testnet before using this? Well, I after a little bit more digging through, I 
say that you can actually create a contract like you see here and you're able to build on top of it, modify, generate the ABI and deploy it. And again, it's very important that you have Docker. Um, so again, we're gonna go to the project settings. Right here you see you're the pig, CPP, the contract. Uh, and it's like, okay, where's it gonna be deployed to? Uh, well, yeah, you're uh, the pig. Gotta make sure that's filled in, otherwise, where is it going? Uh, do, 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 do. So yes, um, let's save that. Okay, so let's build on top of it. So when you build them, you get your Wasm ABI and you generate your ABI file. Plus, plus. Then you want to deploy it. Uh, as you can see, it deploys successfully. So what do you want to do when you modify your contract? Let's say, hey, hello world. Um, you can see this dot right here that has not been saved yet. So you have to save it. So you put save. Then you need to build it again. And then deploy it. So if you're wondering, okay, um, where can I find the actions? Uh, where I can push uh, single transactions with a single action. As you can see, this is where they have it. You can see the high function. Um, and you're probably wondering, okay, uh, how can I put a name through it? All right, we need limit our name. So I have your code PNP, that's my twin sister's name. And you're probably wondering, well, that's not gonna work, why? Because it's missing the authority. So there must be a restriction on the hello, on the you're the pig contract. So we're gonna go back to, I'm gonna go back to the project and look at the CPP. You see right here, it says require. So we're not gonna require that for this example. And say, just simply, please just simply print hello world. Again, you have to save it. So file, uh, save. Then you go, oh yeah, save. Then you build. Hopefully we have enough RAM, otherwise you learn what I just did. Then we deploy it. Yay, it's been deployed. So let's go back to the contract. And you're wondering, okay, can I just put in a name now? Can I put in, push a transaction in? And then execute it. Ta-da, what does that say? Oops, yes my twin's name and stuff. So let's try this again. Hmm, it's interesting. Okay, as you can see, this has been proven. But yes, this is what I wanted to show you, just how easy it is to get started. And if you got, I will make uh, more tutorials on this IDE. I, that was just the most common question I've been receiving. And I will be updating the tutorial on, on this. But yes, thank you very much. Uh, hopefully you guys like it and we'll continue.